Hey guys, Zizek here, and this time we're going to looking at another Z Crystal set. This is the Ghostium, Bugnium, and Darknium Z Z Crystal set. So I found this at one of my local Game Stops. Uh, just one of them randomly had it. So I guess the other crystals are out there somewhere. Uh, I don't know if all 15 other types are out there at the moment. Uh, so far, we've managed to get a hold of 12 altogether. So hopefully they're out there somewhere, but this is all I found at the moment. So this has, like I said, three Z crystals. We already have the three that come with the watch in America, and the three that were in the last Z crystal set. So let's get these open and take a look at them. And there's literally nothing inside but the Z crystals. All right, here they are. So let's look at the Ghostium first. So yeah, these are no different than any of the other Z-Crystals. They're clear plastic with the chipboard on the back, and inside there is a symbol hidden they won't be able to see until the watch powers up the little LED inside. Speaking of, let's put it on the Z-Watch. Let's turn it to... Uh, actually, there we go. Number two. Let's get that into roleplay mode and put this on there. Whoops. That was creepy. <laughs> so let's see what it does. So like every other Z crystal, it does the type noise first, then it does the generic Z move sound after that. I really like the little ghost icon in there though. That it's like a bright purple, like bright dark purple inside the purple here. So that's awesome. So let's, whoops, take that off. So let's try the bug neum Z. <laughs> it was really loud, actually. It's a cool little, like, beetle design for the icon. That's awesome. And lastly, the Darknium. <laughs> that was actually scary. Okay. That's awesome. So black and red for the lights. And you can actually see the colors are pretty similar between the black dark neum and the like light gray rock neum here. Uh, but that's actually really cool. Those are really cool sounds for those. And then I also noticed something. Uh, one of the Japanese people I watch on YouTube got their watch, and theirs just comes with the Electrium Z because it's much more tied to the Pokemon anime, so it's the one Ash has. Uh, but he also mentioned something else that it does. In, J in Japanese, of course, so we don't 100% understand exactly what he's talking about. But, like I said in the review of the Z-Ring, uh, this connects to the Japanese arcade game, in a way. And actually, the way it does it is that light. We never got it to actually light up uh, on the review, but I figured out how it does it, actually. So when it's in, I believe, either mode, uh, 3DS mode or roleplay mode, if you push this twice, uh, fast together, it'll do this. If it's charged, it'll make that sound. The way to charge your Z-Ring is to use it in conjunction with your 3DS. So, do Z-Moves in the game while this is in 3DS mode and let this do what it's supposed to do. When you do enough of them, you can check it by doing that double tap there. And when it makes the good sound and does all the colors, that means it's fully charged. So then, if you hold the button down... You'll get that noise, which is like, you know, the Z-Ring flaring to life. And now, that light's lighting up. So that is the IR light that's actually going to connect with the Pokemon game, arcade game in Japan to let you use Z-Moves in the game. This is actually an LED, too. This isn't like an IR thing that only the camera can see. You can actually see this in real life, too. So now, when you do Z-moves, it's sending a special signal to the arcade game to let you know you're using a Z-move. And if you have a certain Z-crystal in there, it doesn't really change it all that much. Yeah, it stopped flashing. It's been a little bit too long. Uh, but now, I think it's 
essentially out of charge now, so if you hold the button again, you'll get that. Now, this is what it did all the time when I was playing with it when I first got it. I realized if you held that, it would do that red and then three sad vibrations, and I never understood what it was for. So that's saying that you're out of charge, so you can't activate the Z-Ring in the game in Japan. And if you double tap it, it'll do that sad noise saying that you're out of charge. Now, if you do, for some reason, it doesn't work with just one Z-move. You have to do a couple of different Z-moves, and I don't know exactly what the number is. But if you just do it once and do the check, it will make a different sound. <laughs> it's not the full charged up sound, so you have to keep doing it until it makes that full charge up sound. And you can hold the button, and then that'll start flashing. So basically all it does is add extra lights in America, but in Japan lets you do the arcade uh, Z moves. So I think that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.